Stacey Higginbotham with GigaOM, and I'm here with Dimple Amin, who's Vice President of R&D and Special Projects with Sienna Networks. Hi, Dimple. Hi. Thanks for doing this today. We're here to talk about Sienna's 100 gig fiber optic transmission product. Transmission product. <laughs> All right, so tell me what we're looking at here and why this is important. So what we're announcing today here at Super Committee 2008 is Sienna's introduction and demonstration of a true single wavelength 100 gig product. It's a demonstration vehicle. We're, we're very, it's a demonstration vehicle of true single wavelength 100 gig transmission over existing DWDM systems that are installed today. What's unique about our demonstration that we're going to talk about today is true single wavelength, true 100 gig OTN, true 100 gig enhanced four air correction, using today's 10 gig standard interfaces. We're going to be demonstrating, we have a, a demonstration product here that shows true 10 by 10 gigabit multiplexing, where we develop technologies that enable today's standards to be enabled and brought on through the 100 gig. So I can use my equipment today to boost my network by a power of 10? That's right. Okay. That's right. Today's installed systems typically have 10 gig as the core transmission standard. 80 channels, that's about 800 gigabit. With this type of system, you could replace your 10 gig channels, put in a 100 gig channel, and go 8 terabit. It's a factor of 10 improvement over existing infrastructure. And why would I want, and this is on the core network, and why would I want this? This will enable new applications that can be developed that may be bandwidth limited. It reduces cost per bit. It's the most cost effective way for you to upgrade your existing network without having to re uh, replace it completely. Okay, so this is fiber in the core. This will enable things like video to travel back and forth. Video on demand, video conferencing, IPTV, all, all the different applications that we're seeing uh, being developed every day. Okay. This will actually enable new applications that we people have not even foreseen yet that may be limited. Okay, but this is all in the core because we talk a lot about limits on the edge network and I want to make the distinction that this will be really super fast but not to the consumer's home. It could be deployed on the consumer side if there's a demand for it. It has to be cost effective at this time, but the technology does not, does not limit us to core only. It can be metro networks, access networks, endpoints along with the core. Awesome. I would love for that to be the to happen. All right, can you show me what I'm looking at? Yeah, so what we have today at the demo for the, um, the show is we're showing true 10 by 10 gig e being multiplexed over a single carrier. Okay. What's different about this versus other demonstrations of the past is using today's technologies that are deployed in, in the network, truly multiplexing them over a single wavelength. For this demonstration, we brought 80 kilometers of fiber. Oh. But in the field, a typical a typical system may be 500 kilometers before regeneration, 1,000 kilometers regeneration, or even larger. Wow. For this demonstration, what we're going to show that is that we are not doing any inverse multiplexing, which is usually a technique to take a very high speed signal and divide it up across many wavelengths. Okay. To be really efficient to get true 8 terabit capacity, you want to be able to put all the information onto one wavelength. All right, we want one fat pipe as opposed to a lot of pipes joined together. Joined together. Okay, That's great. Right. And what we have over here is we're, we're, we're working with some partners here at the show today, taking their content, aggregating it over one wavelength with the 100 gigabit payload. And on this screen, what we're showing is uh, a typical network, a C-band network in this case, that has 80 channels. We're showing here we only have one signal, one carrier. Okay. Inverse multiplexing may show 10 carriers. If you were doing 2 by 40 gig multiplexing, you may show two carriers. We're showing true single carrier transmission over 100 gigabit. Awesome. Now to also show that it's compatible with today's standards, we'll zoom in here. We'll zoom in on that carrier. It's going to. I don't this think screen. we can zoom in. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's okay. No. It, it's going to zoom in on the carrier and show that we are carrying true 100 gigabit capacity on a single wavelength across the 100 gigahertz spectrum. Why is that important? It proves that today, the networks are either deployed on 50 gigahertz or 100 gigahertz grid. You can put 80 channels at 100 gigahertz, 40 channels at 100 gigahertz, or 80 channels at 50 gigahertz. What we're showing here is carrying 200 gigabit capacity on today's standard interfaces. 
Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Dimple. And, oh, just kidding, there's more. <laughs> what we show here at, the, at our interface level for the show demonstration is truly carrying 10, 10 gig signals. Okay. We are measuring um, the error rate that, based on 80 kilometers of fiber, you will always have intrinsic errors in the signal. The technologies which we developed for this, including enhanced forward error correction at 100 gig, the world's first, we're coming back error free. We are correcting for the errors in the, in the network, in this case an 80 kilometer uh, link, and providing a ping signal back to the 10 gig interface. This All right. is live, a live demonstration that we're showing at the show with different standards. One last important thing that's equally um, important to stress is we can take any 10 gig interface that's available today, 10 gig Sonnet, 10 gig SDH, 10 gig Ethernet, 10 gig OTN, on any of our 10 gig ports and, and multiplex them together. No one has, can demonstrate that. This right. allows services to be our client, our customers provide flexible services to their customers as well. So they can take any tanking interface and aggregate it. Okay, well thank you very much, Dimple. Thank you. All right.